hi everyone welcome back to my channel uh it's Tammy here and i have introduce yourself <laughs> introduce right. yourself he my name is chooks he's my housemate slash landlord my landlord yeah so today's episode we are back with um marriage and you know dating i don't know if you enjoyed the last one but if you did let me know in the comment section below. I have him here and he has been pestering me to send him the questions. And I'm like, no, I will not send you those questions because I don't want you to prepare. He has to catch him on our ways. So we get his undiluted answers. So first of all, do you want to do a quick introduction? Uh, well, there's nothing more. I'm just your ordinary guy, my chooks. My name is Chooks, yeah, and uh, I'm a project manager. We are project managers together. Yeah, and um, basically, you know how the country is, I just <laughs> try to get by. Basically. You I, said I, I try to get I by. <laughs> I, I don't see myself as special or anything, but oh. I believe everybody could, everybody is special in their own way. So I don't know what yeah, else I'm to special, say about, what, what, what else to say about my, myself. Yeah, just a quick introduction. Yeah. So let's start with the questions. First question, marriage or partnership? Hmm. Well, I'll, it's, it's a tricky one for me personally. Okay. Personally, or... <laughs> If you ask me generally, I I think marriage in will be better because of where we come from, but in well, the society well, where we are now. Do you I know would, you know sometimes society just gives you a necessary body. So if you are being honest with yourself, you know, and say, you know, this is what has worked, or maybe from experience or from partnership looking really? at people. Okay. Okay, to be blunt, marriage. Yeah. Marriage, okay. Next question. Professional therapy or family advisor? I would say family advisor. I think you are very traditional. Oh. No, I'm not traditional, but the thing about marriage is that marriage is traditional and it's, in it's institutional. Mm -hmm. So that makes it traditional in the sense that they have traditions mm -hmm. norms and yeah it's built within certain frameworks so so marriage itself is traditional and i'll tell you why i said so family advisor Prof all those people that they'll say you you go and tell, tell them that your husband did this your husband did no, that or no, you complain of domestic violence on the contrary I'll and tell they'll you say why. you should don't worry or you say your husband was cheating say, oh that's all of them is to cheat no no so no. You're getting in the wrong. Okay. On the contrary, eh, your family knows you better. The both family. When 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 we say family therapy or uh, what did you call it, family advisor, is yeah. not a family. It's not a family. Say from the husband's family or from the wife's family. Mm -hmm. It is a is a combination of both in the sense that they know both of you. I listen, don't think... listen to me. They know both of you and. Like, I think I'm like, very perfect. My family's eye. Like they say, like they say, right? Um, a child is a, a com community that brings up a child. Oh. <laughs> it's not really yeah. a community. Yeah, because but, but, it's but, not community that raised me. Please. No, 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 no. You don't. You don't get. They don't have to. You, you know, contribute to your raising. But one way or the other, they have been influential. Mm, exactly. Uh, okay. So my point is this. My the point I'm trying to make is that. Uh, it is better you have if you have an issue, you take it to your family and it's settled amicably within the family. You understand? I'm not saying a situation where... Is it where because you, you, you don't want, you know, to pay for therapy? Or... No, no, no. Because therapists are like referees. How? Because they work within certain boundaries in the sense that they want oh, to they want to yeah that's true so they want to you have to be professional exactly but but with your f family you cannot hide <laughs> you no know, if you have a bad character your parents know that you have a bad character true true, true. next question if you were to pick a partner 
who has a bad habit, a bad sleeping habit, which will you prefer, snoring or kicking? All those women that used to jump back. No, you kick me off. I'm not, I'm not one of them, but I know, and I don't snore either. Like I said before, I'm perfect. So, thank you. You kick me off. I think I prefer somebody that kicks until the day you kick plank. <laughs> <laughs> there is you that will learn. Well, you see, snoring, snoring. You, cannot, you cannot control it. No. <laughs> so you wake up every day and be slapping oh, the, God. The, the persons. Yeah, so something you never ever thought in your life that you do for a woman. What is it that you've mm. done? Who? Now or back in the day? Now, like you've done experience now. yeah and uh, now back in the day like one thing i said i'll never in my life like me now i say i can never ever tell a man i love you but i i think i can tell somebody that one now yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no well, i'm just joking <laughs> but it has to be very very you know something that you can't that you, if they tell you say eh, go for a bit man that one hard though what do you mean it's hard because I've said a lot of never, never, and, I, and I've done them. E.G. Eh? E.G. Uh, my goodness, yeah. Okay. Uh, for for a lady, eh, I would not... <sighs> so that you're doing... <laughs> that sign. <laughs> it's a difficult one. Can, can we pass that? Okay, we'll come back to that question. Yeah. Describe your perfect partner. Uh, my perfect partner is somebody that has a wild sense of humor. And is... Um, well... What do you mean by wild? Well, me wide or wild? Wild. Okay, what do you mean by that? Like, practical jokes. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, and somebody that you know is spontaneous. Okay, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. So, judging from what you've been seeing mm -hmm. in this our community of mm -hmm. Nigerians in the UK, especially the one I just came, how you describe you know their love, whatever, or their perception of relationship? How you describe it here? Especially if you were to describe it with one word, what would you see? Me, I know what I can say, but... Mm, their perception... Well, me, the first one I'll say is delusional. All of us were delusional because our expectations, they are way up here. And then there is this sort of, you know, way we look at each other, especially when it comes to the job they are doing. You'll be like, ah. When did you come here? We job are you doing? Something like that. So most of us were very, very delusional. Eh? <laughs> so what would you describe, you know, Nigerian immigrants? Nigerian immigrants are... <laughs> they are knuckleheads. <laughs> you say knuckleheads? They are... They are, mm. they are like... Um, they are very, very unpredictable because you can't, yeah. you really can't predict I'm them. I'm telling you, so, we are very unpredictable. That one so is good. So one thing, one, one, one thing I found out with my de dealings with them, even me, I'm one of them. So, but I feel we make our, we make ourselves whatever we are by ourselves. It is still us that are doing it. Now we, now we do ourselves. So even me now, I, I'm worried when I'm dealing with a certain ni Nigerian or another because. They are expect, like you said, they are de delusional in their Very, very delusional. And one thing they don't They'll be telling you, if you don't make 70 grand a year or 80 grand, don't come close. You cannot move to me if you cannot buy me a baking or Chanel bag. But the thing is, everybody came here for the same thing. If, if, if you are not, if, 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 if it's better reason. for you, you will do where you did. <laughs> it be better for you for David, but all of us we came here for a better life. It's better, now, but so, ba bala blue. <laughs> yeah, no. What, my point is, irrespective of whatever, we all came here for the same reason. So, uh, if, if you if in a relationship or yeah. if you want to start a relationship, it has to be two people with of like minds because this place has a way of driving. But people lie. People lie. People pretend. People just 
make it like on Twitter now. The NIUK people, they are always saying, <laughs> they always say something like, you know, you people, you are, every two market days, you people are job shaming, blah, blah, blah. And then, which one is, I'm a data analyst, but at night I'm a support worker. I'm like, just pick one. People, are you lying? Why are you lying? But, but if you ask me, I would have said that that whole concept of support worker, data analyst is long gone because everybody knows, say, if you come UK, you go clean your shit. <laughs> <laughs> so it is not it is ah, not it is not we've all our fair share of your exactly. skin in. <laughs> so who nobody nobody anybody that comes to say oh, I'm God. this one I'm that one right there you're not being real to yourself because the truth you of the matter you don't know who will help you you're you lying understand? the truth of the matter is that it is it is a new challenge for somebody it is it is yeah. you took a leap of faith to come to this country and start all over again so all over. Mm. you you should be willing to tell your story that you grew, you went from grass to grace but they are scared that people will reject them but it doesn't make any because sense i've had my own facial rejection and in my mind i'm like oh, it sure. doesn't make any sense rejection or no rejection if it's somebody that rejects you the person the whatever was that wasn't but they are trying to make this you. perfect you know perception that you know they have their shit to my get that dear, my dear, except say you get uh papa we been we been get politician politician is either your dad is a politician or your form somebody in your family is a politician or your or your f uh, family has been here for donkey years <laughs> or something 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 but bro man anybody <laughs> as we black are black we know how far don't come and google me I, I and swear. tell me i swear tell me one, one or two yes you start from somewhere. We all know we have to start from somewhere. You should be even be ashamed that you did not start from so somewhere. Uh -uh. I'm telling you, you should be ashamed. Is it by force to suffer? I don't understand. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not by force to it, suffer. It is the system. The sy system here has put it that uh, you cannot just come and be an overnight sens sensation. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But people that come in as you know, they come in with um, skilled as a skilled worker for web develop. All oh, those people are like you know. A percentage of the world yeah that, even uh, even even skilled. that yeah even that eh uh, when you come eh uh, you go start from somewhere you won't you won't just come and everything is at your beck and call you will start from somewhere everybody has a story to tell Sweet. and nobody should come and tell me that their story is a perfect picture because come on man <sighs> you're not being real okay next question what do you miss about being single First of all, are you in a relationship? This one I need to guide this question. Complicated. Is <laughs> it <that> complicated? <laughs> well, my, what do you miss about your own complication? <laughs> oh boy. What do, what do I miss about my own on, on complication? complication. Yeah. <laughs> when you were free and allowed to be in the world or do anything you like or your own com complicated situation? It is one waking up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Playing, playing uh, video games and nobody's coming to make you, noise. Well, you don't have like, work. Yeah. Yeah? You don't even have... when I have work, even when I have work, nobody is disturbing me about hey, playing video if, games. Yeah. And and well, um, did you buy the game yourself? Of course I did. Okay. I've always had games throughout, so... Because I'm like, if me, I use my own money and buy my my husband or my boyfriend a game, and I see him playing the game, in my mind, I'm like, what what exactly am I going to do? Is he smash the game, or collect the game, or shout at him? I, I don't know. But if, since you said you bought it yourself, yeah, I'm I like, bought okay. It my, my, myself. So that's the thing now. If you want to play games, yeah, somebody's in here, yeah, like, yeah, you don't have my time, or there's a time for everything, or... Something, something, something. <laughs> so it's only game, early money game you miss. Uh, and you know, basically just having my time t to myself. What do you mean your time? That's why I used to tell people that when you are entering a relationship or whatever, don't lose touch of yourself, number one, number two. You are not just somebody's boyfriend or husband or wife. You are somebody's sister. You are somebody's daughter. You are somebody's friend. You are somebody's colleague. 
you are somebody's boss so all those five rows or you know hats that you wear find the balance and well, if somebody is trying to make you just a girlfriend there's a problem see yeah, let me tell you something you know you, you know what you're saying eh? is it flips both ways because i'll tell you why we men in fact 98 eh, percent mm -hmm. are attention seeking sorry day your day so so you see when you're not in a relationship it's easy to say all these things but when you're in a relationship with somebody you want I, the person to have your time because you feel you're giving the person all your time. May I understand it? Well, over time, I came to the understanding that, see... My dear, dear, your day. Don't disturb me. But me, based, left to me, even when I'm in a relationship, I want some time to myself. You understand? Because... I can't be close to you two for seven. It's not possible. I don't understand. But women mostly. I have other things I'm doing. Ninety-eight percent are just attention seeking. So a, a time will come where you know you you guys crave attention. You want to be together. Make that time. That's where you said they said you should not stop dating. Do you understand? People will go for one fine date night. You you talk talk talk. You experience one something together for like three four hours. You come back again. You see you talk talk talk. And be, be, ah, sorry, you please. So much of everything is is a problem. Well, it takes some emotional maturity to achieve that. Yeah. So, so when there is that emotional mat maturity, you could actually tell when when your partner needs. Yeah, you. matured, please. Yeah. You say be matured. <laughs> My God, the Next person. question. Does money make a relationship better? My dear. That truth, money be truth, fine, Bob. Truth be told, money does. I swear. But then you see people don't that kid, have plenty don't money. Don't kid me. No. They are having issue in their no, no, marriage. No, no, no. You're no, not the one There's dream. a difference. There's eh? a difference. You say, does money... You did, what was the question? Yeah, does money make a relationship or marriage? The easy? question was not does plenty money. <laughs> There's a difference. You understand? Money does, so but basic plenty money, money does not cut it. It's not. See, money does in itself it's just how it is managed. But if it's plenty money, okay, it, it's not a guarantee. It is good though that the money is there, but it's not a guarantee. But money does because it could. It could take away a lot of stress because one of the things that affects relationship is the stress that comes with it and most of it can be solved if the if the resources are there because money is not just maybe physical cash it could be time it could be some other kind of thing we're talking about money usually it's time we're talking about money money for yes. chanel bank yes because if if you're feeling say, say let me it's a good time. It, 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 so if I example. go to if I go to Harrods that and let I go and meet the actor and I say, please I need to buy a Louis Vuitton with a fifty uh, uh, what do you call it? Physical time. No 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 Maybe you, security you still, will not carry me. You still you still don't <laughs> understand. What I'm trying to say is let's say for example now you say you want that oh you want to go for holidays but you need to work mm -hmm. because you, you need money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if the money is there okay you can afford to go for holiday without working without working oh exactly mm. all right what is your deal breaker in a relationship why are you looking around <laughs> my deal breaker in a relationship is madness <laughs> 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 you know, since some people did. Oh my god, you had to look around. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you really had to look around. He <laughs> said madness. No, but some people they mad. Though. <laughs> you, 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 you never know. They have, they have a very good way of hiding it. We are good, we are good for them. But you too, so, but you people see, you bring out the madness is some women. You be here, yeah, I was not like this before. Eh? It's you be doing things that will bring out madness in us. It's, it's not true. We've buried it well, somewhere. Well, I was well. The real sense of the madness is when one when the the lady does not have the kind of emotional maturity to be. In a relationship. Which one is this emotional maturity you keep saying? Okay, let me tell you some. some is it that people that don't have emotional maturity now they are not allowed in relationships? No, for me, you ask me for my deal breaker. Oh, Any, some people can manage sorry. it. Sorry. Uh -huh. You asked me for my deal breaker. It's, madness. It's, 
is like me. I'm a very play playful person. And my aim is to get on, on your nerves. You understand? So Why would somebody be mad? Exactly. So my point is, for me, if you cannot handle it, if you cannot control, because me, it is play for me. Okay. You, you understand? But I'm not saying it is a good thing, but it is just... It is just how I am. I and it's not. It's not like I said. Somebody that is pra practical, you, like you me. You purposely, you purposely provoke somebody. The person will turn mad and show you madness. I am saying madness is a deep breaker. See, see what we are talking about. You say I will, I will, I will get to your nerves, and you are saying it's confidently as if it's a good thing. No, it's not a good thing. At times, no, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. No. Listen. Listen, eh, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's more like practical jokes. Me, I, I like to it's have practical jokes. Yeah, I, I like to do those practical jokes, yes. and some people yeah. cannot. You you break egg egg, egg yolk on the foil. I be post. No, say I'm not, joking no, with no, you. No, I'm no, pranking no, you. No, not do. Whoa. <laughs> no, 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 not not not. not that, it's not, not that, that extreme. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 no problem. Okay. Oh, I like I like asking this question. Uh, hinge or bumble? Hinge or bumble? <sighs> sorry, I didn't get that. <laughs> hinge or bumble? Bumble, sorry. Uh, I think hinge. Why? Basically, because... Next question. Why? Next question. They're asking. Next question. Hinge or bumble? Please. Next you said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where was the next? I mean, where's the next question? Advice for intending, you know, people that are about to enter relationships, partnership, etc. What's the best advice you can give to them? Best advice is, man, it's not love. Long term, it's yeah. not love long long term is L love is never enough you understand is understanding and uh similar what would i say have similar goals or maybe not not just a, a, a similar goals um be willing to work together to achieve but sometimes you know goals. some people say opposites attract and at the same time i'm seeing you where they say oh we enjoy doing the same thing you know we have so much in common. And I'm like, so why do people say opposite attract again? Sometimes this thing just contradicts themselves for me. Well, well, opposite attracts is in a sense, I think it, it has to do in the sense of how, how they get things done. Not necessarily in their um, way of thinking. Oh, okay. Yeah, basically, I think it it has more to do with how they get things done because uh, maybe I, I I feel that has to do more with if I'm deficient in some areas, I need you to be strong in those oh, areas yeah, too. Yeah. You understand? But the point is in in it's like a team, mm. like building your own team. Everybody has mm. their roles. Mm. Yeah. But so we all we all align to to the goal. We want to achieve. Yeah, where do you put project management inside? <laughs> Basically, that's the whole point. So I feel it has to do with each person's ab ability. Yeah. The op op opposites. You understand? But if you are not very good at something, and I am. So now, with what you said, do you still believe in gender roles? Now, one thing you need to understand uh, in in analyzing most of these concepts are basically. The environmental factors oh. yeah and listen <sighs> the environmental factors the social factors and the cultural factors all these things affect gender roles mm -hmm. do you understand so where we are now eh gender roles <laughs> uh, in the mud is in the mud you throw it, it, out it, it does bend do you understand because it's all you bring your income do you understand on because the table. here now oh, it's all hands on deck you 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 uh, get what i mean everybody 
let's we want to achieve this we all have to chip in one way or the other or, or, or the other but if it's back home <laughs> in nigeria it's a different ball game because the environmental factors does not uh, no, the social go, yeah. factors because in nigeria i could go to work and i make money enough enough and i don't pay tax <laughs> i don't pay so many things i don't pay national insurance i don't pay this and by the time i bring it i can you all don't those pay, payments you don't pay pension. all those payments that i'm supposed to pay i can use that and pay somebody else yeah that's true you understand so i don't need the gender or you do your bit i do my boy here there's there's <laughs> nothing they, like they gender slash your salary the same. so everybody is on a this system is structured in a way that you, everybody has everybody to work. has to work yeah so basically that's it so it goes out of the window but it, it, it doesn't mean there are certain roles that a man cannot do and there are certain roles a woman cannot do so nice. you can't those ones now you are mostly like natural things a man cannot get pregnant i'm not talking about that no but it's gender roles right okay so a man cannot get pregnant because that of his gender. That is obvious. Exactly. So there are certain things. Why you know? I'm saying this uh, to say, okay, yes, in the widest perspective of things, mm -hmm. gender roles, yeah, are not. But in the home, yeah, there are roles. No problem. Next question. So when people get married. Mm, do you advise they have kids right away or should they give it a timeline and why well it depends on their motive it depends on their goal mm -hmm. it depends on what they want to achieve but people so, like advising you know you should enjoy your marriage with your partner travel well, I, live with them adjust your indifferences before you know you bring a kid and some people say, you know, once you have the kid, it stabilizes you guys, blah, blah, blah. It makes you bond. See, it depends. It depends on the in, in individuals. It depends on their personal goals. It depends on what they want to achieve. It depends on what motivates them, what drives them daily. So, I w because uh, why I'm saying this is because I've seen the people that had a plan. Mm -hmm. That we want to do this before we have kids. <coughs> yeah. I've seen people that have had kids. So in e both yeah, scenarios, there's the pros and there's their cons. So you can it depends on what you you set out to achieve as a unit. Mm -hmm. It depends on what you want to achieve and how you want to achieve achieve it. Well, but me personally, I would say it's good to get married mm -hmm. and have fun. See, having fun is that in the process, if you have kids, it's part of the fun. Like have like good fun, like enjoy yourself as much as you can what if you get married in january <clears throat> and your phone end if, in march of the same year it is it, 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 your story doesn't have to be the same with everybody it is your journey okay you understand you embrace it it is your it is your life that's so you just have to embrace it for what it is you don't you, there is no comparisons to these things because i'm not comparing no no i'm not saying you're comparing i'm saying you can't you you there's no one size one yeah w one size fits all for these things yeah so it is what 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 makes you tick okay and that brings us to the end of this episode do you have any question for me see i would like us to have this again so i'll ask you questions Hello, no. I am you the host. Yeah, the host who has the host answers to no one. <laughs> I answer to no one but see, God. <laughs> you see why this, this life is not fair. <laughs> that brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Chooks and I are planning on starting a podcast. I know, I know, I know. We're about to join the band where God. <laughs> <laughs> first of all i don't know what we're we talking about but hopefully we'll be able to come up with good ideas but if uh, you know it sounds like a good idea please leave a comment in the comment section and remember to like subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't and i'll see you in the next episode of let's be frank bye